คุณจะประรังภิกขเวภิกขุกัจฉันตัวกัจฉามิทิปจานาติทิโตวะทิตุมหิทิปจานาติเนสินโนวะเนสินนมหิทิปจานาติสยานโนวะสยานมหิทิปจานาติยุทายุทาวะปนัสกายโยปานิหิโตหุติตถาตถานังปัจานาติอิทิอัจฉตังวากายเอกายานุปัสสีวิหารติปิทาวากายเอกายานุปัสสีวิหารติอัจฉริยะบหิทาวากายเอกายานุปัสสีวิหารติสมุดายธรรมานุปัสสีวากายสมิงวิหารติปยธรรมานุปัสสีวาก a ยสมิงวิหารติสมุดายวายธรรมานุปัสสีวะสมุดายวายธรรมานุปัสสีวะกายสมิงวิหารติอัตติกายโยติวะปนัสสัสติปัจจุปัติตาโหติยาวดีวัญญาณมัตตายะปฏิสติมัตตายะอานิสิตโตจวิหารติณจักินจิโลเกอุปาลิยะติเอวังบิโคบิคาเวปิกุกายเอกายานุปัสสีวิหารติอิริยาปัจจปัปังนิติตังก็จะพิสตันิจูเกณฑ์เหตุยิ่งเนี่ยพาลีอิเสกัจฉันโตวะกัจฉามิติปัจจานาติ there's no I there no I means a hung Yeah, there's no ahang, it's just gachami. But in English, we have to put, uh, I am walking. In Burmese also, they don't have the I. They don't need to have the I there also. So in Burmese, he say, t o a en t o a re lo, ma re. So there's no I there also. In going, you just know going. Uh, so maybe some teachers, you know, they will tell you, uh, is you, is you, they will usually ask you to label in the present continuous tense. Right, intending, intending, looking, looking, hearing, hearing. There's no I involved. Don't say I hear, I see, I, you know. So maybe that's one way to get out of this I-ness, uh, to put it into a present continuous tense where you don't need to have a pronoun before that. Okay, so let's do a bit of practical, uh, and let's be aware of the postures. Can you all stand up for a change? You've been sitting for some time. I hope there's enough space. <laughs> It's a bit crowded here. Okay, so please stand up. I think it's a bit loud. There's an echo there. Please stand up. Uh, close your eyes. Of course, the Buddha didn't say close your eyes. Yeah, you, if you want to open, also can. <laughs> you can. Uh, Stand with your back straight, but just to get an introduction to what uh, what is like to observe the standing posture. Maybe it's better to close your eyes so there's less distraction.
back straight, relax. And with your eyes closed, how do you know that you are standing? You can't see your body. How do you know that you are standing instead of sitting or lying down or walking? What is this special sense of the standing posture? You don't have to zoom in to look at the sensations that you feel in the body in detail. Just get a general idea, general feel of what it's like to be standing. How do you know that you're standing? Okay? No, 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 no. I'm asking you to ask yourself. <laughs> just to get a feel of the standing posture. Okay, now sit down slowly, feeling the change of your posture as you sit down. And continue to feel the sitting posture. Now compare yourself. How do you know you're sitting now and not standing with your eyes closed? No, don't answer me. I mean, ask yourself. Okay, that's the end of our experiment, very short experiment. <coughs> being aware of the postures is uh, not the same as being aware of elements. In elements, you zoom into to find out the different elements involved, the different sensations that, can be, uh, that are involved in different parts of the body, in uh, particular parts of the body. When you are aware of, a post of your postures, it's just a general awareness of being seated, of standing, of walk in, in walking, and so forth. All right? So this is very useful, particularly when you cannot afford the time uh, to sit down quietly or stand you know, quietly like that uh, in your daily activities while you are waiting in a bank, you are sitting in a bus or a taxi. Well, you can actually uh, make use of such opportunities to watch your posture. If you're sitting on a, on, a long for, on a long journey, then you can even watch your breath for a more, um, a more sedentary meditative techniques. But while you're on the go, you know, driving a car, walking the, to the market, coming back to your, to, the, to, the, to your car park and so forth, you can be aware of a posture in a general way. <coughs>